Well, Mike, they're calling for heads up in Happy Valley now. I mean, it's it's all broke loose now. Uh, you lose to Illinois. They were supposed to win, uh, and it wasn't that close of a game. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement of the year. Is it really a disaster? Or how, how would you how would you put things in perspective with with what happened with Penn State? Thirty three thirteen, they lost. I think most reasonable people thought Penn State would be four and two now. Mm-hmm. Would have lost to Iowa and Alabama. They're they're three and three. Nobody saw them losing to Illinois. I think Illinois ha- has has figured some things out and got to be better than they were early in the year. Uh, and, and Penn State is so beat up. And and they're just they're just in a tough spot now. I think the Big Ten is a little bit better than we thought it was going to be, mm-hmm. a little bit deeper. And you have a team that is really young, really beat up. And and uh, when when you say that kind of thing, people think you're making excuses or you're not being tough, you're not being honest, you're not telling them like it is. And uh, you, you know, I I just think there were changes. Penn State made changes in the structure of the way it coaches and the way it recruits. Six years ago, like 2003, 2004. Right. Those changes took root, and Penn State won 10 games a year, over 10 games a year from 05 until last year. Now we've got a situation where their, their personnel is such that they're just not going to be able to do it. It can't happen this year. And, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, all of these problems, all of these problems supposedly are all of a sudden manifesting themselves. I got a lot of problems with the way Penn State operates, but I had those problems last year. I had those problems the year before. I had those problems the year before that. I mean, I mean, th- those problems aren't the reason they're three and three. The reason they're three and three is that they're really young in key spots and they're really beat up in key spots. So I think it's eleven guys that are out with injury right now on, on defense. defense. Eleven guys played. who contribute on defense, either through injuries or there are two that are for disciplinary. Isn't reasons. it interesting though, Mike, that when you have issues, they only really come to the surface when you're losing. When you're winning, those issues get sort of pushed aside. You yeah. don't hear about the weightlifting program. You don't hear about the play calling as much if they win those games. Well, that's my point. Yeah, yeah I, I'm with you. That's exactly right. And 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 so where do we go? Uh, where do we go from here? From here, I, I think maybe you, you think you, even to a greater extent than you were before, you start to build for the future. You start to play this year in order to get to next year. And, and I, I think I think that's probably what they will do. Certainly in some cases they have to because they just don't have any other bodies. They have to play young people. But I think I think that that that's probably what you're going to see from here on out. But I'll tell you what, you look at their schedule and four and eight is not off the table. Two weeks ago I wrote a column where I said after Iowa. I wrote a column where I said, let's face it folks, five and seven or four and eight is on the table. And I the day after, I thought maybe I overstated it a little bit. <laughs> that might be, but then watching that, watching that mess up there on Saturday against Illinois, maybe not. Minnesota, Northwestern, um, Indiana, Indiana. Are the only three I see that now. Now that I've seen what's out there, the product we're getting. You know. Well, I think I, I don't think they'll be favored against Northwestern. Really, Northwestern's a pretty good team, and, wow. and uh, Northwestern's pretty good. I think uh, I think Minnesota they will be favored. It'll be interesting to see. In fact, we should have seen because it's uh, not this week, but next. But um, there's <laughs> there's nothing automatic for Penn State right now. 